Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are doing some Dragon Ball Legends, a little bit of gameplay. We're going to be doing some summonings too. I was just actually in the middle of a match. I actually just started a match. Didn't realize it when I was um, starting the video. So I said, you know what, let's just throw it into the video as well. A um, little bit more difficult to actually you like, actually try to record a video and uh, and play the game at the same time. You lose a little bit of concentration over here, but it's all right. Let's see over here. Boom. Let's see if we can get some of that action going on. Now I should be able to Kamehameha his ass all the way back to... Uh, oh, no, he dodged. I thought he dodged already. I guess not, right? Oh, man. But, yeah, so I've been playing. Um, I did get the Vegeta pack. In this video, though, I plan on going... Um, doing a couple summons. I'm probably going to do uh, two or three summons here. Uh, just so that way I can maybe get a dupe of him. I would like to get a dupe of him. Plus, you have the, the Trunks, and the Trunks is not bad. He's a pretty damn good unit. Um, I did do a review. I think they're both a lot of fun. You, both of them are pretty damn good units. Oh, my God, he dodged. How the hell did he dodge that? Did he actually, like, just dodge that? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, let's see over here. So we got this. Oh, okay, well, we got the Rising Rush going on, so that's not going to be bad. That's going to kill his ass, but um, I want to go and use up as much as I possibly can of my key before I go use the Rising Rush. So um, that way it does more damage. I don't really need to because the Rising Rush will kill him regardless. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the new missions. So apparently, by the way, the newer missions that just got released for Dragon Ball Legends, uh, there's a lot of experience to be had. You could definitely get your characters up to level 1,000. And if you noticed, um, a lot of the characters on the harder levels go past 1,000. So to me, I think that means that we're going to be getting some uh, high-level units very soon. I'll actually show you when I'm done um, playing this level. But right now, what I'm trying to do is um, I'm trying to grind out some Rising Soul 2s for my Super Saiyan Vegeta that I purchased, so that way I can get up to level 1,000. He's at level, like, 600 right now. Um... So, uh, yeah, I need to get him all the way up, and then once he's all the way up, then um, I can go ahead and ascend him to level 1,000, and then hopefully very, very soon we can go and get our, uh, us past level 1,000. I hope that's coming around the corner. Uh, but, yeah, I really want that Trunks. Trunks is a pretty good unit. Um, again, I would just like to ascend my Vegeta, because I feel like that was, I think it's the strike, and is it strike, uh, strike, defense, and attack are increased uh, with his ability? So, it's pretty freaking awesome. There we go, finally done. Yeah, so I, that's what I want to do. Plus, uh, Trunks and Gohan's on that banner, too. I, I mean, I don't really need Gohan, but it would be nice to have him. Plus, there's some other uh, dupes of uh, Sparkings on there. There we go, some more Rising Soul 2s. That's actually what I really wanted to get, plus the experience, the train. I want to get the rest of these Sparkings up to level 1,000. Uh, up to, yeah, level 1,000. Um, all right, cool. So, this is just, I'm just running this to level everyone up. Let's go over here real quick. So, uh, Book 4, Chapter 9, as you see over here, we got Nappa at level 1,150. Um, then we have Book 4... We have, well, that's only level 1,000, so Nappa is the, the, high, the highest level we've seen in-game so far, which is pretty damn crazy if you think about it. Um, uh, they're, they're slowly ro rolling stuff out. It's pretty cool. It's, the game's been out for about a month and a half, um, so I'm pretty happy that they're going, that they keep on going. Um, I did see max level at 9999, so like 9,999, so I'm, I don't know how far it's going to actually go. Um, but these are the daily missions, by the way, so I know I talked to you about this in the video that I released yesterday. Uh, complete six daily missions. These are the daily missions you want to do. Every day you're getting clear story times three. You usually get these um, Super Soul 1s, which is going to be very useful. Good training items. Uh, honestly, as long as you just play, you're pretty much going to hit all of these. Make sure you do your adventures. Make sure you do your PvP. Once you get seven of these, uh, you get a guaranteed sparking, so that's awesome. So let's go ahead and accept. The accepting of these, they, they really need to fix this system, because accepting, look how long this takes me to hit the, to, to actually accept. You can accept more, which is really accept all, so they need to make that phrasing better. And then, like, one at a time is such a pain in the ass. They need to do it like they do on Dokkan Battle, when you hit accept all, and it gives you a list of everything you've accepted in one box, because this is just freaking annoying. Literally, I, I sat here one day um, on the event missions, and I had to accept, like, 25 of them. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, and I literally just have to hit OK on every single one. It's such a pain in the butt. Um, as you see, though, my Z level is level 40 now, so I got another Vegeta. Uh, Vegeta's not going to be ascending, because I think I already have him at a very, very high level. The only way I'm going to ascend him further is if I pull, like, five more dupes of his uh, sparking. So uh, that's what's going on there. Um... Yeah, what else do I need to do over here? So, uh, my Super Soul for my Vegeta over here. Let's see. There he is. Um, I, I, I'm definitely nowhere near close enough to getting him Ascended. So, I, I really want to do that. I can't wait till I do that. Because I really want to get him up to level 1000. He's a lot of fun to play with. Um, he His his one ability uh, for his Green Arts card heals himself. So, I want him up to level 1000 as fast as I can. So, yeah. Um, Alright, cool. So, there's that. There's that. We can't Ascend past level 1000 yet. Um... <clears throat> uh, but yeah, let's go over here and let's do some summons real quick. Let me know what you guys have pulled so far if you've summoned. See, this is the single summon ticket. Um, when you go into the actual summons, you'll see it. I did not do my dailies today, so I want to do them on camera with you. Um, if I, when I ever do a summoning video on this, I'm probably going to do my dailies with you. 
Uh, once you get seven, you get a guaranteed sparking. The featured units on the sparking, uh, it's part of the, the Vegeta banner. I know I had said that before. So you have the Trunks, you have the Vegeta, which is cool. Super Saiyan Goku, Pan, and Gohan. So it's not that bad, for me at least, because I want the Trunks, the Vegeta, and the, the uh, Gohan. Pan, I mean, I only pulled one of her, so if I pull another one of her, I wouldn't be upset because I would like her to get ascended with that the higher Z level. The Goku's the only one who I really don't need, but um, again, if I pull enough of him, uh, then he'll ascend to, I think, level 6 or something like that, and then it would be pretty damn awesome. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and do our singles over here. Who knows, maybe I get lucky off a single. I have 5,600 Chrono Crystals. I'm probably going to do maybe two, two uh, summons on here. I don't really want to waste too much of them because I don't really, like... I already have the Vegeta, and he's the one I wanted. I would like a dupe, and maybe that Trunks. So, um, I might just do two. We'll see what happens. If I'm not having any luck, I'm definitely... Oh, Vegeta's kicking... I mean, Vegeta. Frieza's kicking my ass right there. All right, so we're doing the Kamehameha. Here we go. If you guys want to do your singles, your daily singles with me, feel free to. Oh, Vegeta, please let Vegeta come in. Oh, no, Vegeta didn't come in to save me. Oh, no. Oh, well. Well, there's, uh, there's Nappa. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> So, uh, hopefully also, I think there was a couple new units that I didn't talk about, talk about on here, um, on this. Okay, that's that. Oh, so the, the, the Frieza level of the, uh, thing is still here. There's still six days left of the Frieza. Okay, interesting. So, who knows? Maybe I'll get something lucky here. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. I really, I really like it. For the Frieza that I got up to level 1000, he's a lot of fun to play with. I like Frieza's character in this game. Um, he's, I feel like he's just a lot easier to, uh, to utilize when you're... Uh, when you're playing and maybe it's just because his sleek design is a little bit smaller he doesn't really get in the way of the camera the first person view i know the, the character models are very similar but um oh wow i really thought that was a sparking first thing like, did i just get a sparking like, nope not not at all um she just got a limit break what did she do her z ability oh no i don't really worry about that it's not applying enough for it to display on screen oh well but again yeah like i was saying if you guys want to go ahead and do a uh, summon with me feel free to go ahead and do your dailies with me whenever i do them uh, whenever i release a video on this i'm not gonna do my dailies every day with you guys but Again, when I do so many videos, I'll definitely do it. Anyway, so um, I have a whole bunch of videos released right now, or being ready to be released. I recorded all day yesterday. Um, I recorded eight or nine videos, something like that. Today's, uh, by the way, today's the 5th of July. I recorded all my videos yesterday because um, I, was, I was feeling a little bit crappy. I was a little bit hungover. It was raining out, thunderstorm. It was very hot, very humid, so I really didn't want to go out. So I figured, you know what, let me just do, uh, do my videos and whatnot. Um, so I, all the stuff that's coming out that, that has been released today, released yesterday, and the next couple days is all from that. I pretty much set it up so that way all the JP stuff is covered for the past week that's come out, all in the next couple days, and some of the stuff from Global. I think I, I think I don't think there's anything left in Global for me to cover anyway, uh, other than the third year anniversary stuff. But the third year anniversary should start the day that I have my last video going live from the JP side. If I have something going live on the 7th in the morning, I think like around 11, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so, anyway, um, here we go. This is the Vegeta and Trunks banner. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. We got a thousand crystals. If you guys want to summon with me, feel free to do so. If not, if you guys are already summoned, let me know what you guys pulled down in the comments below. And if you pulled that Trunks, how is he? There we go. We got three pods. I don't think there's going to be anything special here. He didn't go Super Saiyan. Namek is not blowing up. Um, we got the regular animation over here. Goku and Frieza are not hitting each other at all. So, I don't know, unless he goes Spirit Bomb. But it looks like we're doing Kamehameha right now, so it's nothing special. Yeah, I, unless Goku overpowers him. Nope, it was very even. We're probably just going to get an extreme character here. So, maybe, hopefully I can get in something new. Um, if I could get something new, that would be awesome. A uh, new extreme character. The extreme characters are always good, because sometimes their their Z abilities will come into play and help you out. There's an extreme character. What did we get? Oh, new. We got the new Juro. Okay, cool. I don't know what his uh, his passive is or his Z ability is. So we're going to have to go and look at that to see what, what he can do for us. Maybe I should do a video of Dragon Ball Legends covering all the, uh, the, the Z abilities of all the extreme characters. Oh, there's a new Yamcha. Okay, cool. Um, so we got two new extreme units. Not bad. I mean, again, I'm not a huge fan. I would like to get some, like, you know, sparking units. But, um, <laughs> I can't. I can only do so much. All right, limit break here. What, who do we get with a limit break? Oh, the Cybermen. Um, what is this? Uh, uh, it doesn't tell us. That sucks, man. They need to let us be able to view the uh, Z abilities of units. Wow, five. 23% tech to hybrid saying base critical. Oh, that sucks. Critical isn't that, I mean, in my opinion, critical isn't that great, at least as of right now. So, hopefully something good. Let's see, this is the Yamcha. What does the Yamcha do? His Z ability, green base blast attack during battle. Okay, that's not bad. That'll be good for Piccolo if I'm trying to run a Piccolo-oriented team. Actually, that is going to be coming to play really well, because you need to do 1.5 million damage on a Rising Rush. So, um, I'm going to have to go and do that, and I'm going to probably run with Piccolo. 
and see what happens. And then this is Android-based strike attack uh, and defense during battle. Who's Android, though? I guess I need to go take a look and see what character has Android. Oh, I guess it's going to be a release in the next banner. Um, I wonder if they're going to have Mecha Freezer and, ha Mecha Freezer and have him labeled as an Android. That would be interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's see what we can do here. Please, please give me the new Trunks, baby. Trunks or the Kid Gohan, either one I'm cool with. But well, we got Mad Pod, so I'm happy about that. Oh, and he went Super Saiyan. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Really? Oh, well. Oh, well. He did go Super Saiyan, so I'm kind of hoping. Oh, and it's gold, so see the, see the gold slash yellow release button? Hell yeah. I think that means we're golden right now. Oh, yeah, and Freeze is, like, so tired and everything. Yeah, he's dead. That SOB's dead. We got a sparking, ladies and gentlemen. We got a sparking. Hell yeah. Woo! All right, so we got the new Jiro. Oh, he's a hero Jiro. Okay, I'm going to have to look at him. All right, we got Raccoon. Well, who knows? Maybe we get a couple sparkings here. I literally saw someone who pulled like four sparkings and one freaking multi. How lucky are they? Oh, man. All right, Cybermen, Hero, Jocko. It's in the new Jocko. Okay, cool. I'm not upset. New Yamcha. Okay, cool. Again, I'm not that upset when I get brand new cards. It's not that bad. Here's a sparking. What's my sparking? Oh, my God. Oh, it's Goku. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Goku. Get out of here. I don't want you. Um, Got Krillin. Oh, that's it? Oh, so whack, so whack. I mean, I got the two new characters, so I'm not upset. Oh, look, Goku's actually only one well, hundred away from um, getting to the next uh, level for his Z ability. Let's take a look at the Yamcha real quick, because I don't know what he does. Yamcha's Z ability, Super Warrior Base Strike Defense. Uh, that's, I guess that, that can come in useful, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Jocko is Green Base Blast Attack. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now I have two for Piccolo. That's going to help Piccolo out when I'm trying to do my Rising Rush Attack. Android-based critical. Okay, again, I don't know how much the critical is do doing here. I'm going to have to go over the stats one day. I'm going to do one more multi with you guys just because why the hell not. Um, and then we're going to be done, and I'm going to be saving my stones for the future because I don't even know what I'm going to actually try to summon for in the future because, I mean, I don't really want the androids. I mean, in my opinion, they're not that phenomenal. Um, and maybe they'll have something cool like, you know, all their stuff is automatically have. Oh, wow, Freeze is freaking kicking my ass. Don't let this... Oh, my God, and it's blue. Don't let this freaking pull be garbage. No, no. Oh, it's garbage pull, man. Oh, no, that's horrible. Oh, well. Well, I got another dupe Goku, so that's not that bad. But he's not even up to the next level yet. I need another 100 of him in order to get to the next level. Extreme Krillin. Krillin it. Uh, we got Paiku on another extreme. Tau. Actually, I do have Tau. Tau's level, uh, yeah, Tau's level 1,000. So he's not that bad, actually. Um, cool, we got a new hero, Cyberman. I'm gonna have to check him out. Another extreme. Oh, cool, we got the new Trunks. All right, cool. Extreme Trunks, I might have to get him up to level 1,000. Wow, we got a whole bunch of new ones. Maybe it's not that bad. I know a lot of, a lot of people aren't, like, all about that, but right now, because the game is brand new, um, getting as many new units, even if they're extreme or heroes right now, is actually kind of beneficial because you can increase like right now you there's very few characters where you can run a full team where you can completely increase their attack damage right their attack output so like if you're trying to increase like blast damage on like a purple unit like for, say for vegeta you want as many units as you possibly can to try and do that purple base critical during attack so like right now i'd be like throwing a whole bunch of different units on there to try and buff vegeta but if i want to buff his specifically blast damage then it's gonna be more difficult so you want to try as many units as you possibly can uh, Z ability for this guy, purple base strike defense, so that's going to be good defense for Vegeta if I'm doing a Vegeta-oriented team. Um, the trunks over here, hell yeah. Let's see what we got over here. His ability, yellow base blast attack and defense. Okay, so he's a yellow unit, not bad. He's going to be good for Frieza and for Pycon. That's awesome. All right, cool, so I might throw him on there. Um, and let's see, the new android. He's going to be probably an android special Z ability. Android max base health 10%. Okay, yeah, I figured it was going to be something a little bit more garbage. Um, okay, cool, not bad. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. I'm done. We, we also cleared up a mission over here uh, for getting a whole bunch of different characters unlocked now. So, anyway, with my, with my day, well, at least with this game, is going to be um, I have to finish getting the Rising Souls for the Vegeta. Um, actually, let's see over here. I'll, I'll just I'll take a look. Well, you already saw the Vegeta. I want to go take a look at my Goku. I forgot what level this guy's at. So, let's see over here. He's sparking level 3, so I need one more or 100 more in order to get him to the next sparking level. I would like to get him to 4 or 5. That way he can he do a lot better. Um, Z ability, 22%. I think it's going to go up to 24% next. So if we could do that. But um, yeah, so uh, again, with this game right now, my goal is to focus on the Vegeta. Um, Pan's already pretty much set. 
Um, and then I guess I have these new extreme characters to focus on getting up to level 1000 if I can. I'm trying to get everyone up to level 1000 as I play just because it's, it'll probably be beneficial to me in the future because I can make better oriented teams. I keep my heroes, I keep all my hero cards um, at lower levels just in case you need to get a rising rush on a like really easy, on like a really, really easy level. So like if I need to, I can go ahead and bring any of these really low level units and get the Dragon Balls on the uh, cards. Um, so that way from the cards, from the from the uh, arts cards, so that way I could actually, you know, do a rising rush if I need to without destroying my opponent. Uh, maybe that's a good plan for you guys too. I don't think it's worth getting all of them, but uh, up to level 1000. But um, it's always good to have your extremes and your sparkings up to level 1000, at least at this point in the game, maybe higher levels in the future. Just so that way you can make that more, um, more unique teams that will benefit you. Um, I also have to do the, if, if you guys are playing Bleach Brave Souls, the Sen Kaimon quests have been out. I'm at the level of like 24 right now. There's 50 of them. You have seven days to do it. So I'm slowly doing like around five to 10 a day um, just so I can get it. Once you get it, you can go ahead and get the Aizen. I think I'm, I think myself, I'm going to go for the Mind Aizen because you have five of those Aizens and I need a, I need a better Mind Healer because I want to be able to auto the Inheritance Zone for, um, for the Heart Droplets. And right now I could do it with Heart, with Heart Units because my Heart Unit has um, has a uh, Yachiru and I have Ryukin and then my I well my tech one set because I have the uh, freaking Ururu and now I also have uh, a couple other good units so all pretty much every attribute on that game is covered except for the damn mine so I'm probably going with mine dies but anyway guys um that's pretty much it uh, stay tuned I will be doing a lot more Dokkan stuff obviously I have about three days worth of Dokkan content at least two videos a day uh, for the next few days so make sure you stay tuned and um, I'll catch you guys later and uh, I hope you guys had better luck than I did in your summons all right y'all have a good one peace